So no timeline on when this will hit the floor, but leadership is aware. We see this as an opportunity to really address some of the reckless spending in Washington. This is gonna be a very powerful tool in the toolbox and leadership is excited about this. On that note, I'd also like to say on the other side of this Capitol building, uh, Senator Rand Paul, who has sponsored this bill uh, for the better part of a decade, he is reintroducing the Senate version, the Senate companion version, and is excited about the momentum that they're building on the Senate side. Hmm. So I think under an emergency declaration, that's unprecedented, right? And I think most of us up here, if not all, would agree that we're well past the time to roll back the emergency declaration uh, for COVID. One of the things that we are focusing on are the big ticket items that are driving our deficit, driving our debt. And certainly we have started that process of looking for where the fraud, the waste and abuse with COVID uh, spending and regulatory environments have occurred. Um, but this problem is so much bigger than just the emergency environment in a once in a lifetime type pandemic. We're talking about generations that have endured red tape every single day in every single product, in every service, in every aspect and corner of our life. So uh, while that is a, a part of it, I think we're focused on the bigger picture of how do we rein in the regulatory environment in this regime that's continuing to suppress our economic opportunity here. Last call? All right. Thank you. You know, I think uh, our colleagues on the other side of the aisle, they face the exact same issues that we do when we go home. Their constituents are faced with the exact same red tape. Their constituents are faced with the high gas prices, with high cost of food. Uh, they have folks that are on fixed incomes that they have to answer to. And the answer, and I think we all, again, I'm not gonna put, I only speak for myself, but I, I think by and large, we have figured out that throwing money at a problem does not make it go away. And continuing to tie people up in industries in red tape does not make the problems better, it makes them worse. So. I think for the sake of, of their constituencies, Democrats ought to be taking a serious look at this because if they are for accountability, if they're for transparency, and they are for the constitution of which they took an oath to, they would sign on to this bill and vote for this bill because it returns that power back to Congress where it was originally intended, and they are reasserting their role in the three branches of government. Not four, three. <laughs> I appreciate you all for being here. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you to my colleagues for your time and your comments today. I so appreciate it. And look at that. We, we ended on time. Have a great day, y'all.